Mike, let's talk a little bit about the situation with the Orioles the rest of the way. I mean, what are you seeing? What do they need to do the rest of the way? Well, I'll tell you what. I, obviously, it's been a frustrating season for the Orioles. It's been a, a roller coaster ride. And, uh, you know, this team has been a winning team for the last five seasons. So they've got to find a way to uh, energize themselves. They're not going to make it to the postseason, obviously. But you still have to be a pro. You've got to go about your business the right way. you still got to hustle down the line. And, and most importantly, be an example for some of the younger players that the Orioles have just called up. I mean, this is the future of the franchise right now. They have a nice nucleus with Machado and obviously Jonathan Scope. But uh, you look for the youngsters to come in and give that spark of energy. And we've seen that from some of the younger players. And I think it's important for this team to really come together here the final four ball games. Stay out of the cellar. I mean, you got to find a way to get a chip on your shoulder. It has been frustrating, like I said, but uh, you got to keep competing. And I think if they just use that as motivation, staying out of the basement in the East, because <laughs> right now they're tied with the Blue Jays. So uh, it's going to be important for them to finish strong uh, to stay out of the basement. Now you said a chip on your shoulder. How do you create a chip on your shoulder the rest of the way when you know you're not going to postseason? Well, you still have to compete. You know, I mean, every day you put on a bit major league uniform and you cross the lines. Uh, your job is to play the game to win. So you have to be a pro and you have to use that kind of energy and find a way to dig deep. Hey, look at your uh, teammates in, your, in the locker room. If you have a hard time getting yourself motivated, play for your teammates. I think that's the most important thing. And you have to finish the season out strong. You have to finish with sweat on your brow and know that you gave it everything you had. Uh, listen, it, it's all about the pitching, but you can control your emotions, you can control your tempo out on the field, and the Orioles have to do that as nothing else but to be a good uh, example to the younger players. Well, Mike, we appreciate the message there, not only to the Baltimore community, but to the players. Mike Bordick, of course, will be analyzing the game tonight with Jim Hunter.